What is going on? I am Matt O'Leary back with another video today. And what I want to get into is, well, some good news for the New York Jets. As it appears, the Las Vegas Raiders are out of the Aaron Rodgers chase. Why is that the case? Well, well that kind of rhymed. That was cool. Uh, why is that the case? Well, according to The Athletic, Ziegler and McDaniels have apparently agreed that the Raiders won't be in on the Aaron Rodgers sweepstakes. That's the quote. The Raiders always kind of felt like a pipe dream to me in that chase. Obviously, the connection uh, was made to Brady. Then Brady retires. Then the connection was made to another veteran coordinator, uh, quarterback, excuse me, in Aaron Rodgers. And that one really seemed like a stretch. For, you know, we talked through it. You having to play in the AFC West, um, you know, all the different quarterbacks in that division, the state of that roster, that defense not being very, really any good. Uh, yeah, they have Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro and some other nice weapons on offense, but they are in an incredibly difficult division and their defense is miles behind where the Jets are. So that's obviously a positive for those wishing that Aaron Rodgers would come to the New York Jets. Then another team, a team that I really thought probably more of an Aaron Rodgers contender than the, than the Raiders and like a sneaky team would be Tennessee, but they seem pretty dead set on bringing back Ryan Tannehill, at least according to their general manager at the uh, NFL Combine this past week. So uh, that really leaves the Jets, and that's it. It seems like really like the Jets are the only team on this list. So his choices seem to be retirement, back to the Packers, or the New York Jets, if he's going to leave Green Bay and play, that would be the case. Would he retire and leave the money on the table? That doesn't seem likely. Can he go back to the Packers? Yeah, that's uh, that's something that's on the table. But also something that was said at the NFL Combine this past week was uh, the Packers GM was talking about Jordan Love and how he feels that he is ready to start in this league. Uh, it sounds like if things go a certain way, they would be comfortable moving in the direction and starting him and starting Jordan Love. And I, I think, you know, if you draft someone in the first round, you got to like them. Uh, and there's a weird kind of connection when Aaron Rodgers took over. It was after his third year in the league. He sat in 05, 06, and 07. After 2007, Brett Favre leaves, gets traded to the Jets for pennies on the dollar. Are we going to see a repeat? It kind of feels like things are going that way, uh, which leads me into the next talking point here in this video, which is I'm not sold that it's going to cost a absolute fortune to get Aaron Rodgers. Yes, you're going to have to part with something, but a two first round picks I didn't think was ever going to be the case for Rodgers. And if there's really only one destination for him left, if the Raiders and the Titans aren't in the mix, what, you think you're going to like Green Bay is going to hold you over the barrel and like, that's it. You're screwed. You're going to have to give up a ton. No, a, a second round pick this year, conditional first next year in 2024. I don't think you're going to have to give up pick 13. I really don't. And if that's the case and Aaron Rodgers wants to play great, I think you do that. I think that's absolutely worth the swing. A second round pick this year. You worry about the 2024 draft in 2024. The condition is if the Jets go F, you know, X amount of far in uh, 2023, or if you want to make it if he's on the roster by the new league year in 2024, however you want to do it, however you want to work in that conditional first round pick the following year is okay by me. But I don't think it's going to be like this monster trade package where it's like two first, a third, or like, I don't know, any anything anywhere close to that. Uh, I think it's going to be underwhelming if you are um, someone who's either just a regular NFL fan or uh, a Packers fan. I don't think it's going to be a ton going back in that direction, but uh, we're still waiting, waiting around for Aaron Rodgers. It's uh, a little bit of a waiting game, which is annoying. Uh, some Jet fans are just completely frustrated. They want no part uh, of Aaron Rodgers. They just say, you know, move on, sign Derek Carr. He's available. He's not going to cost any picks. You don't have to go through the song and dance. And I'm understandable. I'm not going to fight you on that at this point. Uh, I get it. I understand the frustration. It's been a extremely wild ride waiting for Rodgers to figure out what he wants to do. But if he wants to come back and play and it's not in Green Bay, the choices are really slim. And by slim, I mean, it's pretty much just the New York Jets. So 
there you go. That's some relatively good news. If you're a fan of the Jets, let me know down below in the comments what you think. Sound off below. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Share with a friend. I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.